What's up guys, I'm here in New York at the black carpet for power right here on Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm here too. <laughs> Don't forget about me. She's Can't doing, forget about him. <laughs> she's doing an amazing job. She's wonderful. Sax, they rolled it out for us. Power season six. Make sure y'all tune in. It's gonna be incredible. You heard the man. Thank you. Thank you, love. Cousin, nice to meet you again. Good. I'm excited. Are you guys gonna come in here? I'm hoping. We'll see. But okay. So my first question for you is: Tommy is more of an emotional person, more of an emotional killer, and Go seems to be more of a what's a considerate. Do you think that in life you base most of your decisions off of emotion or off of consideration or practicality? I'm a Cancer. It's my zodiac sign. We're very emotional to a fault. You know, hard on the outside, super soft on the inside. That's the characteristics of a cancer. So yes, emotions all day long. Yes. And your character in the show is a ride or die. And uh, how do you take that from your show and put that into your real life? Do you feel like you're a ride or die friend yourself? Definitely. I mean, my best friend is here. That's been my best friend since the third grade. I mean, you don't see that a lot. So she, um, that just shows, you know, I'm loyal to my friends. If I could stay friends with somebody since we were in the third grade. So uh, yeah. And um, has there ever been a time in life that you either felt powerful or powerless that you can incorporate within your character in the show? Um, I think at times I've, I've, I've felt both. You know, I think we've all felt both. Sometimes powerless with some of the things that I watch that are happening in the world now. And it's like, I want to do more than just post an Instagram or give a donation. Like, you feel powerless. Like, you can't, like, what can I do to change all of this stuff? Um, and powerful because I know at the same time my voice has a large reach and, you know, I can help a lot of people by using that. So feeling both ways at different times. And we are at Saks today. You also have your own fashion line, Lala Collection, I love. What is next for you? You're already in Lord & Taylor, so yeah. have, could you ever see yourself being in Saks or going even bigger? Yeah, we're in Saks, so I'm excited about that. Oh and then also, um, I did a big deal with Ashley Stewart, which I'm really proud of, because I wanted to make sure we serviced curvy girls and all women, and I'm really happy with that. Um, the line is growing, and then I'm also in Vancouver right now filming uh, Beverly Hills 90210, so staying busy. Congratulations to you. You are literally my idol. I love you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So my first question for you is, um, we see Ghost Lie, and to try to keep your character around, have you ever in your life lied in order to keep something close to you that you wanted? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I think all of us have. My motto is tell the truth and know when to lie. Hey, I like that. I like that one. And then um, my next question for you is, is there ever a time in your life that you felt powerful or powerless that you either tied into Angela or that you just did in life? Um, I think that I've often felt, you know, sort of powerless over the feelings you might have for someone even though you know that it's not the best choice for you. I think where I differ than Angela is I... You know, I've been lucky where it hasn't gotten that intense, you know, but I've definitely had my girlfriends be like, what are you doing? Don't pick up that phone, you know? So in that sense, I can really relate. I think we all can as women and men who get our hearts caught up in things. It's so much easier to give advice, you know? Definitely. Uh, and my next question to tie into that, for me as a viewer, I feel like uh, Tommy is more of an emotional killer, where ghosts may tend to be a more analytical plans, may even have some consideration for who he chooses to kill. Have you, do you feel like you're more of an emotional decision maker or more of a practical? So my parents are on two totally different extremes. My father's purely rational and my mom's all emotion. And so I have a weird blend of the two. So I'm very balanced in that way. I have a very long, like logical fuse and then at one point it'll flip over to something else. <laughs> I like that though, it's a good happy medium. And my last question for you is, what do you hope that people can take away from this last storyline? This is the goodbye to this storyline. I think it's actually an uncomfortable legacy because on some level, when you see the sexiness of power and the status and the wealth and like the smoothness of ghost, it inherently romanticizes it. And yet there's these very real kind of horrible consequences where all the characters sort of end up losing everything and empty. And then you see this sort of degradation of his son, Tariq. And so in some ways it's a cautionary tale that willing things to be may not be the best choice. Thank you again, congratulations. Thank you so much, thank you for being here. <laughs> Anytime. So my first question is, what would you hope that the fans can take away from this season when the storyline is over? Uh, I think they're going to say that it's one of the greatest shows of all time. 
I think the ending of it, what up baby? It's one of the, the ending is, is, is gonna be epic. It's something that you don't expect and it's literally the best, like the best season times 10 for sure, for sure. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. And um, I feel like over time within this uh, entire show, your career has really skyrocketed. What's yeah. next for you? Uh, movies, you know, and, and we'll see how power goes. But like, <laughs> you know, movies and just, you know, building, building the music and going on tour and, and, and just growing. So I think it's, it's, it's all, all together. Just, just show what I can do, like in all talents. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my next question for you is, is there ever a time in your life that you felt either powerful or powerless that you can tie into your character in the show? Um, right before I booked the show, I felt pretty powerless. I had nothing going really for me at the time. I had no management, right? No agent, no anything. So I just kind of put, put myself in that position. But right now, I feel very powerful. You know, I think I've, I've, I've done a lot with this show and, and musically we're growing. So, and there's a lot more God in me that allowed me to be powerful too. So I'm good. And uh, do you have anything that you would give us a little hint on what your character goes through? Something you could give us, a little exclusive yeah. anything? Um, you, you get to learn what you would do as a father. Like you see Dre as a dad and you see that's the only thing that will break him down and make him cry or anything like that. Like he's literally scared for his life so and his daughter's life. So I think people see him as a, as a real person. I love that. Congratulations yeah. to you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. All right. So my first question for you is, do you feel that Tariq, like nature versus nurture, is going to get to the level of what his parents are? Uh, do I feel like Tariq will be at the level his parents are? I mean, Tariq has exceeded us. He's like doing the most. He is a full-on criminal, a drug dealer. I mean, sadly, he's become the new ghost. And I, um, I think Tasha's really afraid that she's going to lose him. Because at the end of the day, she's already lost one child, Raina, uh, and she just can't afford to lose another. And do you think that if Raina was still alive, she would have followed in the footsteps of the family as well? No. As far as the, dr the drug, no, no, no. Raina was different. She was special. She was definitely like, uh, oh, hey, that's my friend. Um, we'll see. She was definitely like somebody who was, I think, leaving some hope. You know, she she wanted to be better than us, and I think that's what made uh, her really special. Yeah. And my question for you next is, have you ever had a moment in life where you felt powerful or powerless that you could tie into your character, Tasha? Um, I think in real life, I have felt powerless as a, you know, as a woman, when I first became a mom, I really tied that into my character because being a mother changed my whole perspective on what it takes um, to, you know, fight for your kids. The way Tasha protects them at all costs is exactly what I think I would do as a mom. And I just had a baby, but I definitely understand that struggle. And how do you balance being a mom along with such a busy career? Um, it's hard. It's like a lot of work, but I definitely feel like I have support, and the way that you have to balance is having a good team and a good support system. Definitely. And congratulations to all your success. I'm excited for the new season. And my last question for you is, what would you hope that the fans could take away with this final ending to this story? Ooh, I hope that the fans feel satisfied with the drama that we've created, the emotional journey of the characters. I hope that they feel, you know, fulfilled. Because at the end of the day, it's just like, We've come six seasons. These characters have grown so much, so I just hope they enjoy it. Yeah, we don't need a Game of Thrones outburst, no, right, no. for the ending. You will be, you will be totally satisfied with season six. Trust me. Okay, good. Congratulations Thank to you. you.